the work's really about emptiness, about the relationship between form and emptiness. Uh, all of my work's experimental, uh, so I'm always exploring techniques and a different media. Um, lately I've been working with uh, making instruments, making um, acoustic analogue instruments with found objects and um, I've long been interested in aluminium drink cans and their sonic potential so um, I've been exploring that a little bit and creating some instruments and uh, when I was invited into the prize uh, I was very involved in uh, that exploration and decided that I would like to incorporate it into uh, whatever work I put into the show. At the same time, I'd been working with a series of works I've called Colour Notes. Uh, I'm not a painter, but I like to work with, the, uh, with ink and paint and so forth and uh, make works of abstract colour. Um, so I'd been working with this idea of uh, ink drops. Um, I'd uh, been reading a biography of John Cage, very good biography of John Cage, called uh, Where the Heart Beats. And it was about his relationship to Buddhism and how Zen had sort of influenced his uh, life and his practice. And um, I've always been interested in these uh, ideas of chance operations or stochastic phenomena. And uh, so I decided to try and make this work with drops of ink and these uh, sounds of, uh, of tins. And that was the, I guess, the origin of the work. Yeah. I'm not really trying to communicate anything. I'm trying to create an opportunity for an experience. Um, I don't like to predetermine an idea about what a visitor might experience with the work because I know very well that uh, everyone brings their own way of thinking, their own way of being, their own way of experiencing. Um, for me, the idea of, um, of emptiness is very important. So this idea of an em of empty mind, of coming to a work without any preconceptions about it, without any sort of real idea about what it is or what it's trying to do. So I'm not really trying to communicate with the work. I'm trying to create the context for an experience that the visitor, the viewer, the listener um, will then form in their own mind and, and in their own way. They may be completely disinterested. They may find it in some way fascinating. Uh, it might uh, trigger memories for them. Um, they might want to interrogate it in some sort of theoretical framework. Uh, but for me, it's really about trying to put something together without a predetermination. And this is what I mean about being constantly experimental and constantly exploring in my work. I don't really uh, formulate what the work's going to be and then create it. I try and create a sort of uh, a system, if you like, where a work will be an outcome of that system. But what that work might be is going to be shaped by my intuitive decisions as I go along in the construction of the piece. It's a very analogue work. I'm very interested in trying to create works that don't need to be plugged into power, for example, but works that do have a kinetic aspect to them. Uh, there's, there's movement there, and, uh, but, but that, that, that's activated by human energy, by an engagement of physical energy and an engagement of imaginative energy. So there's nothing innovative about this at all.